The COVID-19 pandemic has caused the greatest global disruption most of us have seen in our lifetime. It has had significant social and economic implications, has impacted businesses across all sectors, and tested crisis preparedness plans. Under ordinary circumstances, the Cayman Islands Chamber of Commerce exists to support, protect, and promote the businesses of the Cayman Islands. But in the face of the COVID-19 global pandemic, our support became more critical than ever before. After receiving the island's first case of COVID-19 in early March, the Cayman authorities reacted quickly and matters unfolded at a rapid pace. During this time of uncertainty, the Chamber committed to providing accurate information, relevant guidance and increased support, not just to our members, but to the wider community. Our responsibilities fell into five main categories, communication, support during lockdown, government liaison, reopening support and recovery. As the pandemic unfolded, we identified key issues impacting our members and shared the information and activity around it as quickly as possible. We developed a dedicated COVID-19 website where all COVID-related news could be hosted in a central, trusted space, filtering out any fake news or unreliable sources. I like the Daily Watch because it was a short and accurate um, summary of all the information that had gone on in the daily briefings. Uh, we were very busy at that time and I didn't always have the time to listen to the full briefing, so I appreciated getting a really great synopsis. To support our website, daily e-blasts were distributed to subscribers across the islands to provide an accurate, real-time summary of news related to the pandemic. Connecting with the wider community, we made use of our social media channels to efficiently share factual and up-to-date information. While most of our channels were digital, we did not overlook the importance of traditional media, distributing press releases and making media appearances to discuss issues affecting our members and the community. During lockdown, supporting our business community became essential. Through frequent outreach to our members and the wider business community, we obtained updates on businesses, including opening hours and contingency plans, and promoted their information across all Chamber platforms. Chambers was of great help during lockdown with communicating our opening hours to the public so we could get our messages across and help everyone to keep up to date with what's going on and how we have been innovative in our places. Informed decision making on retooling and reopening the economy after lockdown required good data. We conducted surveys among our membership and shared the results with policymakers. For those needing support during the pandemic, our free webinar series delivered practical advice from experts across the board on a range of useful topics. Seeing the variety of webinars that were, were available, I was impressed by how they brought it together with COVID going on. You know, they brought in so many you know, experienced people in the community that know what they're talking about and put it to the public for free in a way that was accessible to everyone. We worked closely with community groups to support those most in need and sponsored Resilience Cayman, an initiative helping connect nonprofits, entrepreneurs and businesses with tools, funds and volunteers to meet community needs. The Chamber's liaison with government and other key groups provided opportunities for us to advocate for the business community as well as provide assistance to the government when needed. We commissioned a report to provide the business community with in-depth data, research, and predictions on the status and future of Cayman's economy. As businesses reopened, it was important to have protocols in place to keep employees and customers safe. We supported our members through a series of webinars, Facebook Live sessions, and guidelines to help make the transition to the new normal as easy as possible. The Chamber launched a Safe Return to Work Guide containing recommendations for health and safety protocols and approaches to COVID-19 prevention in the workplace, along with a series of easy-to-read infographic posters specific to individual sectors. We spent a lot of time researching the Safe Return to Work Guides, which were really instrumental to us in our reopening plans. They helped to shape our guidelines and best practices and inform our crew members before we reopened our doors to the public. Another really important one that not many people talk about was the mental health aspect. Uh, a lot of people had, uh, this was their first time working remotely, away from colleagues. 
uh, friends and family a lot of the time. Having like a list of things for managers to be able to talk to about employees to boost morale, uh, very, very important. As the economy restarted and we looked toward planning for the future, we hosted the annual economic forum featuring industry and government leaders under the theme, Rebuilding a Better Cayman. It has been a hallmark of Cayman's success to have this open, frank exchange of ideas and uh, information between public sector and private sector. So we believe it's important for us to support the Chamber in creating this opportunity, um, an opportunity that's available not only to the business community, but to the entire general public. Despite the challenges ahead, there is a real opportunity to take advantage of Cayman's success in managing the health crisis and its reputation as a safe and reliable place to live, work, and conduct business. COVID-19 is yet another challenge that we will overcome together. We are proud to have supported our members as they pivoted their operations to remain resilient during the crisis and provided continuity for employees and customers. The Chamber is committed to working with its members and will continue to help Cayman businesses protect their operations and their staff as we move to reopen, restart, and recover.